Hello friends, I am Anthony. Yes, I am a wolf, but I have such a soft heart and I love to be with kids. Are you ready to start, guys? Yes, let me hear you. Yes, yes, it's M Kids time. Yeah. The Blute family was very happy in their interesting yet peaceful world in the garden full of flowers and trees. Their house on the sunflower was everything they wanted and the fact that their middle child was such a good handyman helped a lot with the maintenance that the house often needed due to the wind and the weather and of course all the movement that a house must be able to withstand if it's built on a sunflower. Their world was small although they recently realized that there was another Blute not staying too far from them. In fact, the other Blute family stayed on the sunflower just in the corner of the garden. But because Blutes are so small, it was about a day's journey to visit them. And the rusted car made them have to make other plans with transportation. Zebs had listened for a long time to the little Blute who cried and then softly told of their house that had been destroyed. So Zebs and Zate decided that they should visit as soon as possible. They then asked the butterfly household if they would be able to help with transportation. We will be able to carry a blute on a wing, especially since you asked so nicely. They packed up and left shortly afterwards. Many hours later, they searched for the house and suddenly Zate saw a big sunflower in the corner of the garden. They flew down and they searched for the family. And just as the little blute had told Zebs, their house lay under the sunflower broken. The wind was still blowing wild then began to hiss in their ears. Cautious and shy, the family slowly came out of the shadows. Zebs and his sister saw the broken windows. They were quite surprised to see that this blute family was fuzzy and soft. They were also white and blue like Zebs and Zate, but here's the thing. They had white and blue dots in large round circles all over them. They didn't have stripes. On their arms and legs and yes, also their heads. They were different but beautiful. Almost like unique little dolls. Hello, said the father. You are so kind to come. Our house has fallen down because our sunflower has bent. Zebs and his sister immediately got a plan. Support the large flower with its curved broken stem. They worked almost all day while building the beam. They met the brothers and the uncle and his wife. The new family is quite large and very unique. They then asked Zebs, do you want to stay for dinner? The food was the strangest but delicious and fresh. They ate and tasted and eventually felt quite full. After a day together, they were surprised that they were now friends. In fact, the greatest of friends. The striped and dotted blutes greeted each other and gave great gifts wrapped in leaves and little flowers. Come and visit us soon. We will miss you. Goodbye, new friends. We will definitely come and see you again. The love that Jesus shows us is the type of love that can even love people who are different from us. Just as Zebs and Zate became friends with the Blute family who were different from theirs. This Jesus love is love that accepts others even if they are different. Jesus accepts the Samaritan woman in love even though he is a Jew and she is a Samaritan. They were very different but Jesus still accepted her in love. Remember the story as we read from Romans. Romans 15 verse 7 Accept one another then, just as Christ accepted you in order to bring praise to God. Jesus accepted us even before we could do anything to earn His love. Accept is almost like saying yes to something. Jesus says yes to us. He wants us just as we are. He loves us even though we differ so much. He accepts us and we belong to Him. Isn't that amazing? Jesus invites us to accept others just like He accepts us. It makes God's heart so glad 
when we love the people around us and let them feel and see something of how Jesus loves them too. This means that through Jesus, we can, through, through Jesus who teaches and helps us, we can also love someone who is completely different to who we are. God has a big family and we are all different. You can learn to appreciate what is different and you can learn even more about it. Instead of pushing someone else away, invite him or her to chat. Jesus loves the Samaritan woman so much and he loves you and me. It is very special to be loved by Jesus. Now we can love and accept others as well. Will you try it? Just look at how well it turned out for the Blute family. They became the most wonderful friends. You can talk to someone further about what acceptance means. Think about how special it feels when you are really accepted. Remember, Jesus accepted you because he loves you so much. Jesus is your friend. This is a wonderful gift. Let's enjoy it. loves me this I know for the Bible tells me so little ones to him belong they are weak but he is strong la 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 yes Jesus loves me yes Jesus loves me Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. La 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 Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so, the Bible tells me so. Let's pray together, friends. Thank you, Jesus, for your love and that you accept us just as we are. Help us to live each day just like that. Amen. Have a good day.